Hi and welcome back to Par Breakers Golf Academy. My name is Bernard Sheridan and of course as you all know we're located in Limerick, Pennsylvania. And today we're going to take a look at the swing of Justin Rose from the U.S. Open this year 2013 at Marion and the importance of weight shift in the swing and how we uh, can see that Accurate driving, weight shift has a tremendous amount to do with accurate driving. Now, if you take a look, I have two lines drawn. Red is right on his head, okay, and right on the shaft at address, okay. So Justin's head is just behind the ball here. The green line is essentially right at his left heel and left, um, left hip, left shoulder, Okay, at address. So I want you to notice that for a driver, the outside of his foot is a little bit, um, the outside of his left foot is a little bit ahead of that shoulder. Uh, that's due to the fact that his left toe is fanned open a little bit. So this is something that, as an as a setup um, for a lot of you players, uh, this can help this weight shift happen a little bit more easily if you fan that left toe open a little bit we're going to see that you're going to be able to get through the ball um, and shift your weight onto that front foot at impact that's imperative so as we're going to see in this series of weight shift we're going to look at other videos as we move on in this series this is the first video in the series on the importance of weight shift in the golf swing and we're going to see that uh, the majority of pros at impact have about 85 to 90 percent of their weight on their left foot at impact for if they're a right-handed player um, so they're really not hanging back they're really shifting their weight they're really moving through the ball not trying to keep behind the ball as much as you would think okay we're going to see how Justin's head is behind the ball but we're going to notice an absolute weight shift here so as Justin goes to the top his head really stays steady everything rotates around that axis that red is the axis of the backswing green is going to be the axis of the downswing okay so your core is the axis of the backswing your left leg is the axis of the downswing so as he starts down now we can we can see when he gets very much to the top he starts to get his weight onto that left side as he starts down okay so already he has transferred his weight at the top of his backswing and now as he comes down just into impact what I want you to notice is that his sternum is over that left heel he is not hanging back folks okay his head is exactly where it was, which was behind the ball at the start, okay? And there his sternum and everything has lined up at impact. His left arm, the shaft is starting to, shaft still has a slight forward lean. Tour pros have the ability to hit down on the ball. I would prefer you to play the ball a little bit more forward uh, than Justin is here. Okay, so he's playing it off his heel. I prefer you to play it off your toe so that um, when you strike the ball, you're not hitting down on it. You're actually hitting up. Justin can do this because of a higher swing speed. It's much more than 105 miles an hour. Um, most average players are below 105 miles an hour. So as he, you can see now, he's going to rotate right around that front axis he's moved over that front axis at impact and now he's going to rotate around it and he's going to finish over it so we can see now that the back of his skull is over that front axis he's ahead of it now after he struck through and that's hence the level shoulders the full weight transfer so remember that the axis of rotation on the downswing is your left leg. That's represented by that green line, not your core. Think about this. The next time you go to the range and hit some balls, getting over that left side 
getting that sternum clear by clearing that left hip. A good way to do that is to watch the sequence of downswing video that shows how the left hip and the lower body moves in the downswing. Check out that video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like us on Facebook. For Parbreakers Golf Academy, I'm Bernard Sheridan. As always, thanks so much and stay tuned for the next series, part two, in Weight Shift in the Golf Swing. We'll see you next time. Thank you.